Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to day two on our trip to Greece. Today we are on a road trip from Athens to uh, Delphi. We are also going to stop in um, an old Byzantine architecture monastery called Osios Logas. And I believe it's located in Livadia, a town about 90 kilometers from Athens. You can see the antics of my family. In our road trip, we sang along, and even though we don't even know the lyrics, but we sang. Here you go. Thank God we don't sing for a living or we'll be dying of hunger. How are you enjoying the scenery thus far? It's beautiful. I didn't know what to cut, what to leave in. Leave in. It was just such a beautiful scenery up there. We're going through a tunnel that um, I believe when we get out, we're going to be really close or in uh, Livadia. A, the scenery gets more and more beautiful the higher we go. It's just breathtaking. I hope you are enjoying it. I'm going to stop talking for a little bit so you can enjoy the beautiful scenery on our way to um, the monastery first. at the monastery. As you can see, the scenery is spectacular. What a beautiful photo spot that is. Um, the walk down is easy. It's not a hard walk. And, and the, the scenery just gets more and more beautiful. The area is full of olive trees and um, almond trees. It's quite beautiful. The monastery was built between the 11th and the 12th century. It is a Byzantine architecture and it is protected by UNESCO. It is the largest, best preserved monastery of the Middle Byzantine period. Listen, take a listen to the bells. It was noon, but I cut the video a little short. Here's another part of the um, monastery, and uh, coming up now are the, this is the baptismal mm -hmm. area, mm -hmm. and right now Sun. we're going to the crypt. What is it? Sun. The crypt? What is it? The crypt? Sun. They have um, the crypt right there of St. Varara. And it's, we are still inside the crypt area, but take a look at, at the beautiful marbles and 
in a minute you can see the ceiling it's just beautiful to make olive oil here <clears throat> and these are the um, pots and machinery they used all done by now take a listen to Andreas explaining to us where we're at and look how beautiful the ski resort is was the most uh, famous winter destination in Greece oh. and there is a ski resort uh, they are coming from all over Greece to visit the, the, the area here. And yeah. look how beautiful. It was famous because uh, here was Pythia. It was the oracle tell other people were coming here to to see that uh, this oracle teller. A fortune teller. <laughs> yeah, a fortune teller, yeah. We are in Delphi, finally. It's probably around 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. God, the temperature up there is very pleasant, but uh, it was a walk. Probably I walked more than I've ever walked in my entire life. Take a listen to my young daughter like, and walk. my aunt. Oh, I'm not walking on the track. Oh, why not? You're the youngest. Yeah, I know. And I have She's the oldest and she's never complaining. Daddy, yeah. So here is this in the yellow dress is my youngest daughter, Natalie. The one taking pictures there is Michael, my sister's oldest son. The one walking with the big bag is my sister. I, nobody told us that it was this much walking. And um, it looks kind of spectacular. The walk, I think we walked probably a good 45 minutes to an hour, maybe more. Um, that's the temple of. Um, Temple of Apollo. Huh? All the kids really enjoy the walk. They all lie to us. That's Annabelle, Monica's best friend. And the one next to my sister is Monica, my oldest daughter. And that lady in the back is my 82 year old aunt who and did this co without complaining. I was dying. I can tell you, I wanted to die, and my aunt is not out of breath. Hi! Delphi is on Mount Parnassus. Parnassus? Forget my Greek. And it is the site of a 4th century BC Temple of Apollo, once known as the center of the world. Uh, also there was the home of the legendary oracle and uh, Delphi was the most famous ancient Greek sanctuary dedicated to the god Apollo. Now enjoy the music as we continue to go up this mountain. We've only just begun.
hope you're enjoying our little um, trip. You have to go when you're young. If you're in a wheelchair, you can't do this. Or in a walker, you can't do this. No, that would do this. Hello? She's just telling me that her dad can do this. I'm sure that if he goes up slowly and the temperature is the way it is today, he could do it. Take a look at this beautiful scenery. It's just breathtaking. And you can go high, you can go low. It's just absolutely beautiful no matter where you stand. Peaceful. Hello, you too. There's my aunt again. Look at it. It's just really breathtaking. So enjoy the music and enjoy the views. And hey, just said, I'm done. As far as I go. It's, it's pretty far. Is it worth it? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a stadium. You have, there's not that good of a view though. There's trees blocking every view that way. But the stadium is pretty cool. The stadium is really cool. It's worth it because you could say you did it. Oh. No, I know the temples are in the, in the thing. The one of the temples is just the five, the five little. It's funny. All oh, the five pillars? Yes. Oh, that's like uh, really so... destroyed. So we decided to do it since we've come this way. It would be a shame to go back now. And the terrain from here on, it's not easy. And we were not wearing sneakers. She was wearing those little sandals that you see. And you're going to see my sandals in a few minutes. Definitely not the proper shoes for this. We need to wear sneakers. But I hate wearing sneakers. So there are my shoes. Let's take a look. There you go. Got some Greek sandals. But you know what? It got me there. Look at my sister up this you know, tree. Yes. I came up here for this. <laughs> she was quite upset. From here, I want to learn about it. Give me a minute. Of course, I'm already there. I'm going to read about it and see what happened. But she was furious. But it was pretty, uh, the actual staining was pretty impressive. I liked it. But it's a walk. We had lunch at Do Pratrico Mas in Delphi. The food was amazing. The atmosphere was great. Let me introduce you to the boys. Dr. GQ. El Exploradora. El Travelista. Those are the names given to them by our girls. Uh, as you can see, the view here is spectacular. And I already mentioned that the food was great. The wine was delicious. The service was amazing. A definite must do if you are in Delta. some beautiful pictures from our trip and I would like if you subscribe to my channel give it a liking and come back every Sunday because I'm going to be posting every Sunday one day of our cruise and the next Sunday is the beginning of our cruise thank you enjoy